Good morning, my awesome students. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be here today. I've got a training to go to, but you have uh, Mrs. Sh uh, Schultz, who's going to be your sub. And um, I wanted to just go over um, some problems on your test review that you uh, might have had questions about. Um, so y'all are going to grade it in class, and then... Um, and then you'll have your test that you need to take. Remember, you can use your journal on your test. Um, so anyway, let me go through those answers with you. So let me turn this around. Okay. Here we go. So yesterday, we looked at a few of these problems together. Um, let's see if I can zoom in for you. There we go. Um, so one of the things that I really want to emphasize is on the absolute value. So like on number four, it says the opposite, that's a negative sign or it can mean opposite of negative, t the absolute value of negative 10 plus seven minus the absolute value of one minus three. So first you're going to work what's inside negative 10 plus three. Those are opposite signs, so you take the difference, and that would be 10 minus 3 would be 7. 10 has um, the higher absolute value than 3, and 10 is negative, so your answer is going to be negative. Okay, bring everything else down. Then you have 1 minus 3. Remember, on subtraction, you add the opposite. You rewrite it as an addition problem, and you change the sign of the second uh, number. So now we're going to look at what's the absolute value of negative 7. That's going to be 7. But you have that negative sign out front, so it's going to be a negative 7. Okay, then we've got a subtraction sign. And then we have 1 plus negative 3. Those are opposite signs with addition. Um, and that would be... Um, negative 2. So that would be the absolute value of negative 2. And the absolute value of negative 2 is going to be 2. So we're going to end up with, I'm going to go over here because I'm out of room, negative 7 minus 2. But remember, it's a subtraction problem, so you have to add the opposite. So we're going to do negative 7 plus, that's a positive 2, it's going to become a negative 2. Now we're adding same signs, right? And so 7 plus 2 is 9, and you keep the sign. All right? Uh, look at, and I want to also point out, parentheses means multiplication. Um, the fraction bar, let's see. It uh, looks like you didn't have any on this one. But remember that the, oh gosh, sorry that the fraction bar does mean division. So if we had, um, let's say we had um, 40 divided by negative 8, okay? Then that would mean 40 divided by negative 8. 40 divided by 8 we know is 5. We're dividing. The signs are opposite, right? So we know that our answer is negative, Okay, one of the things you want to remember too is, you know, use your, for multiplication and division, use your mic dude that I was showing you. You know, where you've got his eyes and mouth or nose, whichever one you want. And so, if you have two negatives, then your answer is going to be positive. But remember, this is only on multiplication and division, okay? If you turn it this way, you have opposite signs, your answer is going to be negative, if you turn it this way and you've got a positive times a negative or a positive divided by negative, your answer is going to be negative. But remember, this is only for multiplication and division only. Okay, the mic dude is. Um, Let's see, is there anything else? You want to be sure that, like on these, that you read the instructions, okay? Because right here it said write the expression to represent the, the situation, and it says, then determine the value and explain its meaning. So that's really a three-part process, isn't it? So on number 11, it's saying that a turtle um, 
dives toward deeper water at a rate of eight inches per second. It continues for a total of 16 seconds. So we know that it's gonna dive. Um, it's gonna dive um, eight inches. And, and we know that diving means going downward. Okay, so that would be a negative eight. And it does it for 16 seconds. So we know that's gonna be times 16. Okay, that's the first part. The second part is to evaluate it, which means to get your answer. So 16 times eight is 128, and those signs are opposite, so your answer's negative, okay? Um, and then it says to explain it, the meaning, and so the meaning would be that the turtle dives 128 feet down. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep hitting this. Sorry about that. Um, okay. Uh, let's look at, we'll look at, let's look at 14. 14 looks like it might be one that you might have had questions about. So it says the highest point in California is Mount Whitney at 14,494 feet above sea level. Okay. That tells me it's going to be positive. The lowest point in California is in Death Valley at 282 feet below sea level. That tells me that one's going to be negative, okay? What is the difference in elevation between the two points? The difference in elevation, okay? So that means you're going to take, you've got the 14,000, right? 494. And then you have the um, negative 282, right? Okay. But because if you wanted to think of it as like a number line and you had zero here, which is sea level, your 14,494 would be here. Your below sea level would be your 282, right? And if we wanted to know what's the difference in elevation, okay, between here and here, you would have to actually just add them, okay? Um, and because if you're, you're taking the difference in elevation, so you'd be subtracting a negative, which means you would add the opposite. And then that would give you your answer of 14,776 feet, okay? Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, um, let's see if there's something else on the back here that might have given you some trouble. Um, I think these are pretty straightforward, okay? Just remember, if you have a situation like this, you're gonna do the multiplication first and then take care of your addition. So this would be uh, negative two times nine, which would give you um, negative 18, negative 18 plus negative six. Those are same signs, so you're gonna add and keep the sign, and there you go. Also, this one, same thing. This one you're gonna do four times negative three first, which is gonna give you a negative 12, right? And then you're gonna have to rewrite your subtraction problem as an addition. And then you would get your answer. The signs are opposite, so you know you have to subtract. 12 minus 5 is 7, and uh, the number with the larger absolute value is 12. It's positive, so your answer is positive. Okay, um, back on number 17. I know I'm skipping around. Sorry, guys. Um, 10 minus negative 4 is going to be 10 plus that negative 4 becomes a positive 4, and your answer is 14. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Look at number 21. 
says write an addition or subtraction equation that's represented by each model. You guys remember that you always start at zero, okay? And so we go from zero to negative four. From negative four, we went all the way over to one. So we have to count how many units that is. And they, that is going in the positive direction. And so that would be one, two, three, four, five. Your signs are opposite. You take the difference. So five minus four is one. Five is positive. Your answer is positive. Okay. Looking at number 23. Write a division equation that is represented by the model. So first you're going to look at how many items do you have? You have, and what kind are they? You have negative nine, right? And then they've divided it into how many groups? They divided it into three groups, and each group has negative three. Okay. Um, number 24, same thing. You've got, this one says, though, a multiplication. Okay. So multiplication, you are, you've got what's inside each group? One, two, three, negative three. How many groups do we have? One, two, three, four. So that's going to be times four. And our answer is going to be negative 12. Now, if you had put this, if you had done it the opposite way and said four times negative three, that's fine as well, which gives you the negative 12. Okay. Now, this one about the snowfall. Um, so Daniel recorded the amount of snow that fell and melted each day. How many inches of snow remained on the ground after day four? So there was no snow on the ground before day one, okay? There are a couple of different ways that you could do this. Um, I think the easiest one would be to take your um, all of your snowfall and add that together. Take all of your um, how many inches it's melted, add that together, and take the difference, okay? Um, so you could add all those. Um, you know that the snowfall is positive, okay? And that the snow that's melting or snow that's melted would be a negative. So if you wanted to do it as an addition problem, you could. You could, you could write it out as 6 plus negative 1 plus 5 plus negative 3. You could, you could continue like that. Or like I said before, you could add up all the snowfall, add up all of the inches it's melted, and get the difference and subtract. Um, your vocab should have been straightforward. Um, Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, look at back on number nine. Number nine says use the number line to determine the value of S plus T. So S is on negative two. And T is on four. And then you just find your answer. Okay. Um, any, I can't think of any. Anything else that might have given you a whole lot of trouble? Um, I've, I feel like if you use your notes in your journal that you should be um, prepared and you should do well. So um, have a very good day and be on your absolute best behavior. Bye, guys.